Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will talk about factory method design pattern. So, by using factory method design pattern, we create object without exposing the creation logic to the client and refer to a newly created object using common interface. That is, suppose we have an interface and uh, we have multiple implementations for the same interface. So when you want to hide the logic of object to creation from user, then we go for factory method design pattern. So let me demonstrate with one example so that we'll get clear idea. So let me take one example. So let me create class factory design pattern test. Now. So let me take one interface, interface I am taking course, interface, so now I'm, let me write one method, so I am writing here the method as a course. Now this is the interface which is having common implementations, let me provide them. implementations, so I'm providing multiple implementations, multiple implementations for the same interface. Java course implements course. So whenever we are implementing an interface, compulsory this class should provide the implementations. Otherwise, we need to declare this class as abstract. Yes, by yes, of here I'm writing Java course. Java course. Let me take, let me have one more class. Class Selenium course implements course. Implements course. Or write that method of that course interface. So I'm writing here, just I'm writing some logic, normal dummy logics. Yes, by yes, of. I'm writing here selenium course. Let me have one more class class web services course implements course. So let me provide the implementations for this method. So I'll write it S Y S O of Web Services Course. Now see here. So this is a common. This is the interface which is having multiple implementations. Multiple implementations. Now see here what I'm doing. Let me write. Uh, let me create one class for factory method class. Factory design pattern method. Now in this class, so I'm taking let me write let me write the factory method to get the object of the implementations of the class. See here how I'm writing public static so course get a course now here I'm passing string type so whenever I pass the type I'm going to get the corresponding object if type dot equals ignore case of so Java test Java test so it should return Return should create and return Java test object. So what is that having this thing Java codes? Codes it should return Java codes object. Yes. Else if type dot equals ignore case of 
selenium cores it should create and return selenium cores object else it should create and return web services course object now this is a factory method it is a factory method to get the object based on parameter now see here what i am doing now let me write the main method here write the main method now so see here use this factory method factory design pattern method dot get codes factory then pattern dot get codes now i'm passing course type as java course java course now i'm going to get a java course object java course java one yes now type cast it so by default it's going to return course right so make it to java course now on this uh, java one call method as a course now right click run as java application now see here java course so if you want so factory design pattern method dot get course we are having a factory method get course of i'm ready here web services course now i'm going to get a object web services course object services now type cache this one to web services course now on this you can call services dot course now right click run as java application now see here so here we are hiding the object creation from the client from the client from the client so we are not exposing our object to creation by passing the parameter we are dynamically creating the what object that means what is a factory method design pattern we create object without exposing the creation logic to the client and refer to a newly created object using common interface so the same thing we are doing it here right so here in this classes the common interface is what so the course is about common interface and it is having the multiple implementation class like java course and selenium course and the web services course and we are writing one class for factory method here we are dynamically getting what the object so without exposing the object creation to the what client so by calling this get course method we are creating we are getting the objects dynamically hiding what object to creation and if we want we can declare this method as a non static as well so whenever we create method as a non static we know that we can access that method by creating object so if you want we can do it in this way as well so design pattern sorry factory design pattern method method is equal to new factory design method so on this method dot call get course so here pass the course type so here i am passing the course type as java course now i am going to get the object for java course and something like course i have type cache it to java course and on this course you can call course method now this is a one way when we declare this one add that method as non static that is 
we can declare this factory method here in this case either it can be static or non static so if we declare this method as a static we can access this method by using a class name if we declare this method as a non static we can call we can access this method by creating object so this is about factory method design pattern thank you so much thanks for watching the videos have a good day